Painters whites. Do you wear painters whites? Do you have your crew, your team, the people you work for you wear painters whites? Are you against it? Or do you let them wear anything you want? Anything they want. Just show up to work. We'll be happy. Anyways, I'm Ron Ramsey, DYB coach, also a painting contractor for over 20 years. Now, this was a hot subject online recently uh, with a discussion with many, many, many comments. And some people are set in stone. I let my guys wear what we want. Our work speaks for itself. You know, and I really agree 98% of the time, the work doesn't matter what you're wearing. But you may not have the opportunity to show someone how great you can work if you don't present yourself a certain way. Now, if you go into a paint store in the morning, usually seven o'clock, whatever time your paint store opens, and look around, you're gonna see some people who look like they rolled out of bed and the pants could stand up on their own in the corner. Their shirts have more colors on them than the paint store sells. Have you seen those guys? I often wondered, when do they buy new clothes? Or when do they get new clothes? So it doesn't mean you have to wear a suit. Doesn't mean you have to be pristine. But I'll tell you what's really pr impressive is the guys and the crews that all match. Does your company have a clothing requirement? And I'm saying clothing because is it, a, is it a uniform? Is it clothing? Is it, do you have to wear painters whites? Do you have to wear cot hats? Do you have to wear dickies? Do you have to wear khakis, a certain kind of shorts? Can you wear jeans? How clean do your shirt have to be? Do you have to wear a company shirt? Well, I'll tell you, I provided all the shirts. And the reason was, is in some cases we worked for associations and they wanted to know uh, who the, my guys were have a bunch of people walking around a job site, you want to know who they belong to. And it also it was it was company branding. So I think if you look at the pluses to the minuses, you know, you 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 will get more money, at least in my opinion, if you look the pot. If you look professional, you're going to demand more money. And I know when you're working with certain people, people with a few dollars in the bank, nicer homes, they expect the crew, the owner, and etc., to dress a certain way. Uh, they're at a certain level. They're not letting any Tom, Dick, and Harry into their house. And if you look like you should be shoveling out the barn, maybe you don't belong in the house. So, you know, I, I believe the more professional you look for yourself, for your team, it's going to show up in your paycheck. You can, you can fight me on this one, but I believe that first impression makes a difference. In fact, Forbes says in the first seven seconds of meeting someone, your impression is made. And that's what they got to think about it. Then you have to reverse their decision if that first impression isn't what you really are. And if you have older painted holes in your jeans and you have a shirt that could stand up in the corner that's stretched out and looks like it really should be a painter's rag compared to the person with the uh, nicer pants, even if it's jeans, painter's whites, as we said, and a company shirt, who makes the first impression? So think about that. Make the first impression count. Have your crew's first impression count. If you all work, look at the same, you all work the same, and you all dress the same, you're going to level up your painting company. Anyways, I'd love to hear your comments here. I'm Ron Ramsey, DYB Coach. Please leave your comments below. I'd love to hear them and I'll respond. Thank you and have a great day.